Hello friends, welcome to learn webby.net. Today we are going to learn a very simple topic date and time function. .net has number of date and time function. Here is the list of date and time function. Date add. It accept time. It, it, it accept interval value. What is meant by interval? Let us see. These are interval. For day we use D for day of the year Y, then there is H. N stand for minute because M stand for month. Q stand for quarter. Like time functions also available. Therefore, second, minute, hours. Okay. Week of, if we want to check week of the day, uh, week of the year, number of week of the year, then. We can use WW interval and if you want to year then YY interval. This uh, the intervals we can pass to a format function, date format function. We can also accept, uh, we can also extract hours, minutes, seconds from object of date class. Okay, now let us use these functions. Let us see the example here. We first declare object of date, dim d as date. Okay. If you directly want to see output, then you can directly use d variable and simply press dot. You got all the functions of date and time. Okay. Then suppose we want to display the today's date. Then simply use date and time. Date and time is also a inbuilt class dot today. Then you will get here today's date as well as time. If you want to format the date, then you have to use here some date interval. If uh, let us see how the format date time functions get work. It first accept expression as date. Okay, our date variable is D. Then comma. Then it will ask us format. Format is general date, long date, long time, short date, short time. You can use any format and see the output. Okay. After that, here is date add function. Date add. The first argument is interval as date. We have seen here interval. You can use directly date interval class. And from this interval class, we can directly use the interval day, day of the year, hours, minutes, second quarter. We have seen earlier. Okay. You can also use here interval in double quotes okay after that this function I ask the next parameter is as number how many days month you want to add to the given date and the last parameter is of date value let us see the output of this Here is the time, but here time is not accurate. Okay, the date is 4 to 2070. April month, day is, uh, day, date is 2 and the year is 2017. Here we add 30 days to this date. Therefore, we will get date from, we got the date from next month, that is May. Because uh, this format is MMDDYY. Okay. We can also use here some other functions of date class. Okay. Date difference function. It will give the time interval between the two dates. Okay. Let us use this function.
let us use function date difference here first use the interval suppose you want to difference in month then simply use month okay now the date one date one is suppose the next date suppose uh, we write here date hash 7 to 2017 okay you can enclose date under hash and the next one is d okay let us see the date difference minus 3 because here is the next date and here is the previous date let us change this parameter use here d minus a uh, d comma the date okay difference between two days date and the date of july is a three month okay we can also use function date format here the date format is either here we have already used this function date format short date long date you can also show or check here time short time suppose let us print this here is the time you can also see the long time but the time function is not work properly Let us see the time from D D dot. Let us see the hours after that. Minute and after that, let us see the seconds okay it will not work properly but here you can get hours minute and second current hours minute and second of system okay like this you can use number of dead time functions within the program whenever whenever we use window based programming joy based programming at that time we have date time control by using that control you can directly access the date in dotnet we will see that control whenever we start window based programming then date handling become more simplified okay thank you